he responded. All right. Here's here's uh Mudahar's response. Okay. Absolutely, positively, a hundred percent mind blown. This response. Fuck you motherfucker, you piece of. No, never in five zillion years would I have expected that. That is the biggest out of nowhere shocking thing to happen in a long time. Let's put it that way. Last time I had financial freedom was probably 2014 when I moved out here. That was the end of it. Seriously, like 2014. A little over a week and a half ago, I appeared on the Kino Casino show. It went really well. Everyone loved the appearance. The Kino Casino viewers have started to come over and watch my content and engage with it and support it. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, guys. Wow. Thank you. 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 If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it. Okay? I seriously would do it. Um... So, all that being said, people are like, what's next? And I've been telling you guys, I'm working with Kino Casino. We're talking about stuff behind the scenes. So I have an update on that. But it's an update like you'd never expect. All right, seriously, you'd never expect this update. I didn't expect this update. My mind is blown. So prepare your butts. Tighten your belts. Sit down in a chair and buckle up. If you're not in a chair that has a buckle, like a seatbelt, go to your car right now, sit in it, and buckle yourself in. Because if you don't, when I tell you this story, you're going to jump out of your pants and you're going to be running down the streets completely naked from the waist down. And that's not a good look. You'll probably go to jail. That's not funny, asshole. And their idea is they want to do game a gameplay co-op. I mean, that would be very different from what we've already done, correct? We already had a, a show appearance, a co-op commentary. So they want to do gameplay. And so we started talking about it. Initially, the idea was fighting games. And I'm like, I'll be honest with you guys. I think the fighting game thing wouldn't even work for longer than 10 minutes. Because it doesn't matter what game we play. If we play Tekken, if we play Street Fighter, I'm honestly going to beat you guys up. Oh. They were thinking about it. And they got back to me a few days ago. And they said, well, what about a co-op playthrough of that, that new game? It's only been out for like a month or two, chained together. And I looked into it. And it's a silly game. It's on PC, by the way. So I, we could do it on PC. And it's online co-op where I guess four people play and they're all you're all cooked together by a chain. And it's like platforming, survival. It's definitely one of these memer games where it's like a bunch of content creators who play it together and get each other killed and yell at each other and laugh. You know what I mean? It's silly fun. It's not anything super serious or anything, but it seems like something that could actually like work. Sadly, what I can tell you is this, and this is God's honest truth, that YouTube gaming... Gaming videos on YouTube have degraded significantly over the years because of people who make watered-down garbage videos for children instead of actual serious shit. And that's really what YouTube has become. A video, crap quality videos for children. Um, or drama videos, which the, which the kids watch. Make no mistake, that's what the kids love. They love drama. They suggested this to me. And I said, I'm not against that. You know, I don't know anything about it. But, and I, we even talked about it. I said, how would we do it? And they was like, well, we could all stream our own perspectives. Like, you could stream on your own channel as we do it live. So they said they had a bunch of ideas for people who we could do this co-op with. Uh, one is Mudahar. I guess he goes by Some Ordinary Gamers on the internet. He's a very popular YouTuber. Um, he also said Josh Moon. Is it, I think Josh Moon is the owner of Kiwi Farms. Now, I have no idea how that would work. Or I'm being honest here. The owner of Kiwi Farms, the website that has been responsible... For some of the most heinous things being posted about myself, my family members, my business. There's been full doxes. There's been all this shit going on. You know what I mean? Like, I know I understand what they're what they're going for here. All right. They want to do something that's so outside the box that no one would expect it. And you know it would never have happened if all this other stuff hadn't been happening. Correct? So we went back and forth a little bit. And so you know, in regards to, to Mudahar, and that's how you pronounce his name, correct? Is it Mudahar? Because I want to make sure I'm saying his name right. So, essentially, I said to them, okay, like, here's the thing. I'm not against doing a co-op gameplay with him, but that would, that would be confusing as hell to me, okay? Because Mudahar, from, from my understanding, and allow me to explain, from my understanding in the past, Mudahar has been absolutely nothing but nasty about me. He said, oh, I, think, I hate this guy, I hate the way that he asks his viewers for contributions and I, I stand I'm completely against it and I really hate his guts because of this right like I've heard him say stuff like that where these people have said that's the kind of things he says about me in his content correct stream is this this is a DSP stream all right you guys ready you guys want to experience a DSP stream you guys want to hear it right now 
It's a, it's a, it's a fucking it's a fucking DSP stream right now. Let's fucking let let me give you the start to this real quick. All right. All right. So you're just sitting over there. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Ooh. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, what's up, everybody? You guys ready for, uh, for some, uh, for some, uh, for some video games? I got some video games for you. So you guys got a choice. Let's play Call of Duty Blackout, but I'm going to sit in the bathroom for 40 minutes per match. Do you guys want to play Minecraft? Where I don't even know how to craft a craft a stick, or uh, do you guys want to watch a fighting game where I complain about lag? You got three choices. What's that in the chat? What's that? You want me to play a fucking video game like what you want, motherfucker? This is my fucking stream. And it was only a year ago. All right, I'd come off the side scrollers interview, which went incredibly poorly. We all know that, right? And Mudahar apparently offered me $5,000, okay, for an interview. Why did he offer me $5,000? Because I guess Review Tech wanted to offer me like $2,000 for an interview. My answers aren't going to change about any of the shit that they tried to ask the intrusive stuff about my life or my business or my finances. The answers are going to be the same. So if that's all you're interested in, all right, then I'm not interested. I said, however, if you want to do an interview, and by the way, I'm not going to accept any money from you for this interview. I'll do it for free. I think I even said if he wants to donate the money to charity, he can do that. I can't remember how I phrased I think I might have even said that. Like, if you want to pay someone, go donate the 5K to charity. Don't give it to me. I don't deserve to be paid for an interview. That's ridiculous. Okay? I said, but I'll do it for free. However, I just don't want to do an interview with you that's all about drama. There's no point. I have nothing new to say about all the drama shit. I I've said my piece on it. But if you have anything you want to talk about, like topics about gaming, about YouTube, about things that I can add insight into, because I've been in, in the game for 16 years and I'm a lifelong gamer, then I'm all game, all right? So that's how I left it. And literally, he just didn't respond, okay? He didn't respond at all. So I'm thinking the guy has ghosted me and basically all he cared about then, okay? <clears throat> I basically just felt like all he cared about was drama right? These guys from Kino Casino seem to want to arrange this co-op gameplay with Mudahar. So I went back to him and I said, here's the weird thing. If, if he is okay with this, that's confusing to me. Because a year ago, it seemed like he hated my guts, right? And so I said, you know what? I'm going to go DM Mudahar and see what's going on. It's weird that he would want to do a co-op gameplay with me. So I said, I'll DM Mudahar again and I'll find out what's really going on. Let me have a conversation with him. So I went to DM him, and it says, you can't DM this guy anymore. I was like, he blocked me? Holy shit. So not only did he ghost me for a year, he apparently blocked me at some point too, so I couldn't even like follow up with the conversation. So I went back to Kino Casino and told them that, and they're like, oh, well, we didn't know any of this personal drama was going on, all right? You know, we'll, we'll have to take a look at it and figure it out or whatever, all right? So then I was talking to these, to these guys again last night, <clears throat> Let me let me take another look. And I went. I don't know what spurned it, but I went over. And guess what? And this is this is guys where I have to completely a hundred percent admit fault, and I have to publicly apologize. I've already personally apologized, but I want to publicly apologize for something. I had blocked Mudahar. This guy is fucking dumb as dirt. On Twitter, he didn't block me. I had blocked him, and I don't even remember doing it. And this guy's a pathological liar. Like I one hundred percent. Don't remember doing it at all, okay? It was on me. I did it. I'm the moron. So this whole year, I've been saying, oh, he ghosted me. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he actually would have, like, followed up and contacted me again. But I blocked him on Twitter, so he couldn't. So I'm the moron here. I'm the fucking jackass. But give me two fucking big donkey ears on my head. Hee-haw, hee-haw. I'm, I'm a, why would, it pisses me off because now I feel so stupid because, you know, this might have been a situation that I've exacerbated saying things like, oh, he ghosted me for a year. He probably didn't. It's probably my fault. I, I did nothing correct. I did everything wrong. Okay. So I want to, for that, for saying that for a little literal year, I sent him this DM. Okay. Hey, so I'd like to apologize. I know nothing about you much like Me Medicare. And all I know is that you apparently really dislike me and have told your audience this over the years. PPP, which is what Ashton of the Kino Casino guys go by told me that you're down for a co-op of Chain Together. And I was like, why would he be down when he's ghosted me for a year after he offered me an interview? 
And now I just checked and I realized that I had blocked you some random night for some petty ass reason. And that's on me and I'm sorry. I honestly don't remember doing it. I'd be down to talk and maybe do a co-op if you are. I have no idea why you dislike me, but if I refuse to talk to people who've insulted me, I'd just be talking really exclusively to my wall here, you know, and I laugh. He responded, all right? Here's, here's uh, Mudahar's response. This is mind-blowing, okay? Absolutely, positively, 100% mind-blowing, this response. Are you ready for this? Because no, I never expected this response either, okay? Fuck you, motherfucker, you piece of shit. No, that's not what he said. I'm kidding. I made that up. You aren't funny. You don't make content. You're ugly. You suck. Honestly, man, I don't have any dislike. I think a lot of, of this might have stemmed from your habit. Oh, no, from a habit of watching you on YouTube. And I see a lot of clips of you financially incentivizing your audience. Yeah, there's a ton of clips of that out there. As of Friday and onward, I'm going to still be here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Because the bottom line is, I told you guys, I have no money. I literally have zero dollars to my name right now. Zero. So I can't afford any games. Um, I was going to play Untitled Goose Game. Except that last night, I got the notification that I have no money. And I was like, that really sucks. You know, every money, every day, the money I get from tips, I'm transferring to my bank account. Um, so essentially, I'm, I must be, I'm overdrawn. Um, for them to tell me that I have that, you know, the, the notice that you are, you know, no balance or whatever. So I don't have money for it right now. I want to play it. It's only 15 bucks, supposedly. But the money that was given to me yesterday for it, I already had to put towards paying bills. You know, that's more important. It's a massive peeve of mine and something that I found to be, in my opinion, a bit manipulative. But honestly, you're not a bad guy. I really do think a lot of your detractors are insanely unhinged with how much digging that they do on you or actually going out of their way to dig into serious personal aspects of your life. If asking for donos is your worst crime, then I'm the one that has to apologize. I'm not done yet, but wait a minute. Stop the presses. Hold your horses. Everyone stop in your tracks. Someone who is a big content creator, someone who is well-respected, right? Someone who has an audience, who when he speaks, his audience listens, and therefore they act based on his opinion, right? And someone who basically has crapped on me all these years, supposedly for my grift, as they say, right? Has basically just said that now I guess what it probably is, is he's seeing me. Oh, by the way, I didn't finish because this is why. You know, seeing me on Kino Casino, seeing my react to the, to the rich thing, knowing the Kino Casino guys, right? He's basically now saying, I apologize for, for my behavior if the worst thing you've ever done is kind of annoyingly Ask your viewers for contributions. Holy shit. No, never in five zillion years would I have expected that. That is the biggest out of nowhere shocking thing to happen in a long time. Let's put it that way. Again, I'm not used to this at all. I, this is shocking that I would be treated with respect, that people would actually look into the situation rather than just follow negative memes about me. And now that they see the truth of the situation, they're being nice. Seeing you on casino has been very redeeming. I'd be down for some chain together or just having a chat or something even further down the road if you want. And, uh, and then he basically said, have a good night. And I said, wow, good night. And thank you so much. So what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Why wouldn't I want to do stuff like that? Right, so I'm I'm curious how this would go, how well received this would be. What's funny is I'm 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 gonna be transparent here right now in chat. I got people saying Muda is a snake in the grass. Don't trust him. Look what he did to Boogie on Lalcow. But look what he did to Boogie on Lalcow Live. You mean Boogie who signed up for a disgusting, toxic show of self degradation to make money, which he shouldn't have been on there. He should have been smarter than that. I told him not to do it. He didn't listen. You know, M Muda hates Boogie because of things like faking cancer. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff that bothers him. Exactly. So you, you never know. Because I got people in chat who are saying negative things about Mudahar right now. And it's like, are these people well-intentioned or not? Or are these people who are trolls who are upset that someone else now it seems to be okay with doing stuff with me? I don't know because I really don't know much about Muda. So I can't answer that. You know what I'm saying? I've literally not had a real conversation with him. Just a few back and forth DMs and stuff. You know, I don't know anything about the guy. I don't know what we're doing this week. We have to talk about it and hash it out. But, you know, I'm open to doing something one of these nights, whether it be 
you know, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Um, I'll let you guys know when we have more information. I'm sure they're, on their end, they'll talk about this as well. But I do want to sincerely say to Mudahar, thank you. That was incredibly gracious of you to say nice things like that out of the blue. I wasn't expected. And it's my fault. I'm the one who blocked him. Yet here I am talking shit for a year saying that he ghosted me. When very well, maybe that wasn't the case. Maybe he would have reached out to me at some point. But I blocked him, so he had no opportunity to do that. So he, his impression is, I just don't want to talk to him, right? And instead, I talk, I'm talking shit for a year like a moron. And then I look, oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm the asshole here, not him, right? <clears throat> Slurp it up like fucking noodles, like hype. <laughs> oh, ooh, I got to eat it. got to eat it. Gotta eat the hype. Oh, ooh.